<laughs> You're making me do it again. Oh yeah, how long were you planning to split? How long were you planning to stream? Probably only until midnight. Cause I got off work in the morning. I'm tired. Okay, it's fair. Dude, only as a Nyef. You got this. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Ashley, wait. I never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. You can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why did he stop? See what we're up to. Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. <laughs> oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. <laughs> Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Ashley, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No picking. You are Andrew. Where are we? Time has come to play hide and seek with the killer and Ashley. Okay, we should probably save. Is she going over in this direction? I hope he at least knows to turn the safety off. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh. You didn't. Find me, keep looking. You wanna die? What if he sneaks up on you? Shh, still, still live. Nothing. It's nothing here but a bunch of branches that have been bent. Nothing but trash in this bush. People think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. Nothing here. An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close, they are all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing. There's some bugs in the bush, but not much else. You're probably gonna have to go to the other area. Not sure if we can leave. Yeah, we can't. Nothing at all. What the hell would he go? We didn't see him. There he is. Oh, there he is. Shoot! Dead. Is, is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. 
Yeah, I probably should have just pressed shoot. The thing is useless now. Just get more bullets. Or here, you saved right before this, right? Yeah. Maybe try reloading save and see what happens if you just press shoot without the uh all caps. Right. We could just save here as well and, and if if we die, we just go back here. <laughs> yeah. But I mean no one knows it's empty. I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you get a license or something? Depends on where you live, buddy. Yeah, you can get bullets of any kind of gun in, in Texas. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remembered. The second thing that also came to fruition in my state now is that you no longer need a license or, per uh, or a permit to have a handgun, rifle, or shotgun in my state. Okay. So yeah, you can just literally go in there, buy one, and leave. <sighs> Gun laws! Question is, are they still restricting muskets? Probably. <sighs> I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although, I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are you still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agree agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You running off out of the blue? What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hit- now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush she ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Eh. Uh... Wait, you're bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So I can tell you why. Uh... Oh, she just laughed. You are Ashley. Okay, now we can save yep, here. And I'll uh, do a load on file six. You know where the fuck he is. Dead. Is he dead? I think I'm gonna say the exact same shit. Maybe. Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well then, we can just shoot them too. Don't think, think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, it's the same thing right there. Yeah. Let me just skip that part. I'll look at it close and make sure it doesn't say anything new. No. The question is, did he actually die? 
Because I don't see any blood. There's blood on his head. Oh, can you actually see that? Yeah, see a little bit by the tree. Oh, okay, yeah. So I think it's better we have the bullets, because I feel like we may need Well, yeah, it. I know shit. Well, we go back. Uh, I have no idea where the fuck we go now. This isn't the room you're staying at, and thank God for that. A putrid stench wafts from within. It says. And we can't go back in the house. Okay, so obviously we don't go back here. And we can't go over here. So you just walk on through the park. Don't stop what I thought. Wait, can you not activate his body? You could probably take his keys. Oh, right. Take his fucking keys for his car. I swear, if this is if this is the end for chapter two, that's gonna be real short. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as someone saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe authorities will just assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk the dog or something. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh. Motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Wait, what? So in this world, you have to get your fingerprints taken to get a driver's license. Well, good thing it's May Man handling the corpse then. Alright, let's... See if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. <laughs> so don't let you worry about that. If I already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? There's an envelope with various papers inside. And the most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, Consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Our... We the laundry. Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, I can't go in the back seat, so. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. <laughs> now, where to? Does Ashley know how to drive? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? We got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. 
Fine. Let's go take moms. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in, in one ear and out the other? We're not gonna talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and lay. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from Grandma. Oh no. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can, but I sure can. That shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you say Hatchet? I said Ashley. Oh. It's not like you said Hatchet. <laughs> so you're just like, Hatchet, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is a lot. <laughs> Uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andro. The pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think that you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they assume that guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. Ashley, what the fuck? You hadn't mentioned killing them. <laughs> yeah, where did this come from? <laughs> so now you want to kill our parents, Gray. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. <laughs> so they might as well be dead. Jesus Christ. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now, anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably feared I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. You're in the driver's seat, lady. No, wait, no, it's actually perfect. Like, he, he's trying to attempt to drive with no steering wheel, and she's just backwards on the driving seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. There you go. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Oh my gosh, I still can't stop hearing the word shit. <laughs> what? You know the music where it, it, it sounds like they're speaking or something? It, it sounds like the word shit. I have already said this before. I, I've already said this before, and you hated me for it. Nah, I don't hear it. Well, you heard it before, or was there like a different word I said that you hated me for? I don't remember. Slut. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> it's much phonetically closer to the word slut than shit.
Just don't distract me with anything. Um. Where's okay. your seatbelt? Okay. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'd be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. I, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled... You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Wait, read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then, it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Alright, I'll be right back. I can take... And I can't unhear it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Hatchet. Put this, put these dots into the Morse code. It's obviously Morse code. This is not Morse code. <laughs> well, are you going to drive or what? Neither of them are wearing seatbelts. I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm just looking at I'm looking out for for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. Oh, is she about to cry? Uh -uh. And so he does. Finally. He decided to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but he won't forgive him until he does. So why hmm. wait for him to notice you're not talking to him? You fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. Oh. Oh. Huh? What? Who's there? Where are y'all? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. Oh, I see. You picked up red flowers.
threw down some red flowers. Oh, that looks normal. It was entirely normal, obviously. Uh, let's obviously go up. Gosh, holy! you who can do in. Why? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. <sighs> Whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Wait, what? Oh, I'm over here now. What the fuck? And I'm down here- what? I'm... Uh, bit of a Scooby-Doo hallway thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? We probably need to get down to that area with the three eyes around it. Oh, you need to get the flowers. Let's see if I go over here. Yeah! Fuck. Where am I? Everything looks the same. And now we just go... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I traveled twice somehow. And... Yeah. Oh, it's this bitch. Well, you just avoided falling down into the eternal void. Lucky. Uh, ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? You men. You god. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you make me... Can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have... Oh, give me a second. Okay, I had, I had to collect anomalies. I have summoned you to make a deal. Wait, that's the opposite. Usually it's the human who summons the demon to make a deal. <laughs> now a demon is summoning a human to make a deal. <laughs> I, guess, I guess Ashley has upgraded to boss bitch demon status. Right. Ray, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him, instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover spat you're having with your, bro your brother. <laughs> it carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You used my gift. What? Was it useful? Stay in the future. Oh, ah, yes, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. Yeah. 
I'm able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human soul. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours. Our soul. Is that like an insult, or...? Pose then, just anybody's? And why don't you get... And why don't you get some souls yourself? I... Cannot enter the human realm. I'm dominant. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. <laughs> I will be waiting. Uh, right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up while your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, our soul. The entity has left. You haven't even saved in a while, have you? No. Probably should do that. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Ha! Big brain. There's also some still on the area that we came in here at. Oh. Wasn't needed, but there's two doors. Hmm. I want to go through the door. It looks like death. Doors decorated with eyes. Enter. Why not? Hmm. Eyes. Oh. Of 
Now you gotta go around and turn all the eyes on. You gotta make them all erect. That's... what? <laughs> you heard me. It doesn't even... If you're gonna say stupid shit, at least make it grounded in some way. Our soul. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh, I went to the wrong door. Oh. Uh, up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. Yeah, I may just instrument 10. Because I hadn't been oh. tired. Oh, okay. This is the realm in between. I'm turning the wrong realm. <sighs> Unsummoned will result in your death. Uh, so, it's fine as long as you are summoned. So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in the crap land? <laughs> in this crap land instead. Return home, Tar Soul. I am expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and it's just not shown to me. <laughs> I think he can. Yeah. Return now. Ah. Uh, where am I now? Ah, uh, this is so tiresome. And I've had it up to hair with these stupid flowers. Fuck, I forgot the name of the flowers. But I wonder if these are the, the Japanese flowers that resemble death and illness. I highly doubt it. it I mean, it, it would be kind of cool for, like, the input and in between, and that's a reference to that. I mean, yeah, but at this point, you basically bring that up almost every time flowers come up in a game. Well, at least that it was confirmed in Pokemon, which is, which is really fucked up. Oh, I just step on. Fuck your flowers, bitch. Fuck your flowers. Fuck horniculture. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ashley? Andy, is that yo? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something, help me. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Huh? huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is that? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. 
So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you threatened me like shit last night. Or treated me. I treated the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think it was I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <laughs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in the Home Sweet Home Invasion. Yeah. What kind of... <laughs> What were you about to say? I said I can kind of see where they would probably cut this off here. I can kind of nah, see I, it. I think there's significantly more. Like the... Like, think about it. The first chapter was, like, significantly longer than this. I think it was only supposed to be an hour long. Nah. But we, we went through it longer because... Us. Yeah, but still, like, it had significantly more content than what we've seen thus far. Mm. Anyway. What kind of knockoff cash grab shell is that? I'm not interested. <laughs> well, it's definitely about all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I... I mean... Oh, no thank you. Now I saw that, you're into it, let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. So is she just not going to tell Andy about the whole souls thing? This way is nothing but more parking spots. Or is she forgotten it? This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name anyway? What? It's the same as yours! I mean, we don't know that. What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates on the doors. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You're gonna make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Oh. Their last name is Graves? Grayson. Mm. Smiths. Ugly Van McHideous. <laughs> it's probably German. <laughs> Shitters! <laughs> They really ran out of ideas for these names quickly. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> okay, Normal that's where you can really tell. Fucking Jones. Yeah. <laughs> ha ha. Er, ha ha. Here we go. D don't just knock. No one comes to the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Oh, 
Come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. Fill your pockets with radishes! One of the planks is loose. Back door is locked. Window. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. What are the logistics of what's going on right now? Who knows? Okay. Ah, uh, is it? It's still too high. Look me up. Well. Ah, uh, no good. It's open but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. So you need something to be able to reach it. Like a stick! Yeah, I saw that there. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me a hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a, a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was, that was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To thank you, open a door so swiftly and went with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. There are but a few words I use to describe your ability to, to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about, uh... Right now, can it wait? Our situation is kind of time-sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, and tell me later. Here's with the letters. You find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel uh, guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? They, they are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out? I did it. I was just on pause until I got out of the quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in the ashes now. Hey, that's this room. Oh uh, yes, check for valuables. Where at? The bathroom! There's not much in the fridge right now.
The dresser is locked. It's the same thing. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Oh my god, they did it again. <laughs> Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Oh, okay. <laughs> you close the closet. Well then. Moving on, we're moving on. They're into BDSM. <laughs> oh, there's the stairs. Notice how there aren't any photos of, of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? Cause we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty. And you're supposed to be Robin House. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the phone your mother never calls you with. Like, oh my god. Uh, a fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes. This is some rich page old stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. I checked everywhere. Down the stairs. There's no. Where, where do you see stairs? Right? Oh. You're fucking blind. I thought that was the uh, part of the wall. Also parents, a bed down here. Yeah. Parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet oh. they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. An extra bed implies there are, there are no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Plenty of supplies such as vinegar. <laughs> Is that vinegar used as a cooking ingredient? I mean, yeah, but it's also used in cleaning. Oh. Oh yeah, I actually learned something today. Wow. Um, uh, co Coca Cola can actually be used to clean blood stains quickly. Okay. <laughs> It's weird, but it its chemical compound actually helps, like, remove it. I see. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. How many sex things are we gonna find here? <laughs> A good amount. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights, as well as a string of balls. <laughs> Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Some are used. <laughs> Stop adding shit. <laughs> I mean, what, I mean, no what do you mean? What do you mean some are used? No shit. Candles get used. I was making a joke to like pouring wax on a person's body. Is yes, say. I know, and I hope that their that their <laughs> parents aren't stupid enough to use standard candles. Right. Christmas lights. I wasn't or maybe I do them. hope that because they're awful parents. On a table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. I like the toilet upstairs. This one actually works. Floor drain seems a little clogged. I clogged up, but that's not your problem. Mm. 
And Andrew's fucking gone. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, uh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Miss and M Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opt in for the compensation for damages caused by your, our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that I... You got cut off. Oh. You hear me, Hatchet? Did I not come through? No, you you, you say I guess, and then silence uh, to call. <laughs> okay. I guess that explains why Mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. You can consider shooting whichever parent just came in. But you can't offer souls of the dead, so you should hold off on that idea. Okay, what voice should I get the mom? Bitch voice. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means that they're a bitch. <laughs> As in, what is? I feel like I'm physically hurting you, Hatchet. I know more than that. So. I guess I'll just try to think. Is someone there? Mom's British. Explains a lot. <laughs> hey, Mom! It's just us! What? Well, that was probably a bad idea. Yeah. Welcome home! Uh, Andrew? She actually doesn't look that bad. Mm. What? What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh, I, uh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? <laughs> it's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You let the door unlocked. You should be really more careful about that. Did I? Yeah, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. <laughs> 